Physical capital has always driven our economy. That's always really been the economic driver. In today's knowledge economy, the economic driver is people. We've seen over the last you know, 30 or 40 years a migration of people from the heartland communities to the so-called superstar cities. The heartland cities have got to find a way to catch up and do this at a rapid pace. I knew that we needed a front door at the university to engage this larger community. I also knew I needed a leader and a team that would be able to steward relationships as they built out. And so we established the 1819 Innovation Hub, and we have a leader in David Adams who has unique qualifications. He's worked with the public sector, he's worked with the private sector, he's worked with large corporations, and perhaps most importantly, he's successfully started up a company. We had our grand opening less than three years ago, and we're already at capacity. We're capacity with businesses like Procter & Gamble, Kroger, Fifth Third Bank, companies like Microsoft, who are very focused on how do we help continue to make sure that the individuals who are employed have the skills they need. The asset is the people, and certainly we need great individuals to fuel our innovation going forward. And more importantly, we work with organizations and institutions all over the world, including Cincinnati, who need people to fuel not only their path forward, but the new solutions and tools and technologies that they're going to be bringing forth to their customers. And so we're building things. There's a culture of making great companies in Cincinnati. We see this as still a hub for us where we have tremendous amount of an overlap of universities, large companies. It's the reasons why we not just stay here, but why we continue to invest in our growth around innovation here because it just is the best place for us to do it from a whole bunch of different factors. In a region like this, in the past, has not had adequate access to that seed capital. So if you get a company to a certain stage, you can probably find investors from anywhere who will come in and support it. But that sort of seed to Series A focus is really the gap that we're filling. Cincinnati was one of those communities that stepped up first and said, we can collaborate. We can bring all these institutions together. With the creation of this innovation model that we have in Ohio, I really feel like we're turning the corner in every sense of the word where we're more innovative in the way we think, more entrepreneurial in the way we think. We have our systems aligned for the creation of talent and collaboration with the private sector to turn the old model into the new model of how we innovate, create, become, frankly, the most innovative entrepreneurial state in the Midwest. Dr. Pinto, David Adams, were on the leading edge of this innovation district concept. We've used that model and scaled to Columbus and Cleveland. It's an exciting time to be in Ohio. We've got the innovation district, but that also builds with the community of other colleges. It's a great talent hub. Imagine we can scale this model, not just beyond Cincinnati, but we can scale this model to the other heartland cities. What we have to illustrate here is a very vibrant place where talent not only wants to stay, but talent who's not here is attracted to this community.